Let's see, so I just fed my sourdough starter. I don't feed much when I feed it unless I have a plan for it. I have a couple cheeses that they're not coliform. I think it's an issue with the culture I used. I was trying something different. I think I didn't do it right. We're holding out a little bit of hope so they're here so I can keep an eye on them. Butter, waiting to be strained. Um, this is my soft sourdough master recipe. It's on venisonforgenera.com. And a way to save dishes is just mix up your pre-ferment in the thing that you're gonna mix your bread in. There you go. Also, this is a sourdough nan bread, which this is not my recipe to share, but I'm making it, it's gonna ferment overnight. In the morning, we'll make it into nan breads, and then we're actually gonna use it to make personal pizzas for dinner. I'm pretty sure that sourdough discard recipe is going to be in the um, Food Nanny Turner Farm sourdough book. Um, Turner Farm shared it with me a while ago. It's from her course, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in their book. So check that out there. Marius is making ramen for dinner. He's got the noodles going there. And what do we got to put in our ramen? The chicken that I told you I was gonna can, we decided that it was cool enough to have soup. So he's got a really potent broth, so delicious. Um, leftover chicken, pickled quail eggs, um, carrot, cabbage, smoked paprika, kraut, green onions, and uh, it's gonna be delicious. Except for I'm a little skeptical, Marius washed the green onions really well, we just picked them from the garden, and he chopped up even the roots. I don't know how I feel about this. And we got something, it hasn't been installed yet. But I'll give you a hint. We decided not to replace the dishwasher. In our marriage, we have had three dishwashers, two in this house, one in a different house, and we kill them. Our family kills dishwashers. We decided we are not replacing this dishwasher and we are putting something else here instead. Do you guys have any guesses on what we're gonna put? What appliance we're gonna put there? Do you wanna tell them? No? Come on, Mary. Oh, and that cherry pie filling from the other day. Um, it ended up a little thinner than I was hoping for, but considering that we're making mostly, using it for cherry sauce, it's gonna be great. When I woke up, I heard so much noise downstairs, I almost thought it was the puppy getting into things. And then I come down and I find Mac making waffles and he said, he just woke up wanting waffles. So he oh, made- that's why you went down early, Mac? Mm-hmm. We still got a Yeah, we're about to go milk. But he made, um, how did Uncle Joel's waffles turn out gluten-free? Just fine. Perfect. So we used it's Uncle Joel's waffle coffee, recipe. still great. And Mac used uh, Bob's one-to-one -one flour and some buckwheat. And they're having it with maple syrup and whipped cream. But Hamish and I need to go milk. And Mac will keep making and waffles. Way too much whipped cream. Oh, that doesn't seem like a problem. Our waffle maker here, it's, what is it, Hamilton Beach brand? It makes four really good size waffles. Definitely large family friendly. We used to have one that made like a circular Belgian waffle. Mm. One at a time. And they were Twinkie waffles. And um, Twinkie waffles? Yeah, small. Small. Apparently Twinkie is small. Uh, about when I was pregnant with Rowan, I think I decided we were no longer a sw small waffle oh, maker yeah, was, size family. There, you had three kids. So our beloved star lost the casing off her horn yesterday, and Hamish noticed her eye was a little irritated, and we wonder if it's just getting from getting blood in her eye. So we keep liquid silver out here. No, just in her bad eye. There was white in the oh, Okay, so it's just easy to quickly spray in an eye if they're got some goobers or spray on whatever. So. It should be fine. Or you can try again. Anyhow, we just keep a bottle of collodial silver out here. And it works really well for eyes. Okay, and then right between, so that's her dead quarter. That's a working quarter. These are two working quarters. Right here, it doesn't hurt her at all. I think it's like lingering edema or something. Maybe that's what's still flushing gunk out. 
I'm rubbing dynamite on right now. <laughs> at Giggleberry Farm under the beautiful mountains to you pick berries. We just got here and of course they have to eat a berry first. Mom. What? You struck ever. Hey. Bucket. Oh. Okay, I know those are bad ones, but just not at people, please. Really? He started. Mac. No, we're done now. Started it. The farm told us they were picking about 35 to 50 pounds in a pick. I think we picked it like 75 pounds. We ran out of buckets. We ran out of time. Um, my allergies are wild right now. Um, I told the kids, anybody who picked at least a bucket, they're like a five quart bucket of strawberries would get ice cream cone um the big kids had no problem doing that we took three friends of their friends with us from the neighbors um the younger two so hamish and his friend uh they definitely only just kind of picked a bucket <laughs> anyhow i sent them into the grocery store to get a box of klondike cones it's like 12 30 and we're not coming home until after one and so i only have two hours of office time because it's an office day today <laughs> which is Honestly, I'm gonna have to just like bust through some emails really quick and then we got strawberries to deal with Thankfully Marius has put aside what he's doing today to help with strawberries, too um, He likes processing strawberries and pitting cherries and all sort of things. I'm the one who's like Really doesn't like that part of preserving So we're gonna make canned strawberries, which I'm gonna show you guys that recipe and I'm gonna do Strawberry jam, and then I'm just gonna freeze a bunch of strawberries, too. Marius is also going to make strawberry mead. Super cone one. ice cream, mm. four vanilla, four chocolate. Oh, no caramel? The, the chocolate has caramel in it. Oh, ice cream with caramel center. Okay, I want the vanilla one. I want the chocolate one. I want chocolate. Okay, stop. Chocolate. Uh, chocolate. 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 This is a chocolate. Oh, biggest. I want vanilla. Hey, we weighed all our strawberries, but we have to wait till some things are empty to like weigh what one of those bucket weighs. You have very cute pigtails, miss. So we know how many we have, but with buckets, we're like 90 pounds. So there's a bunch. Strawberries. What? Strawberries. What we're doing here is we're sorting. They're taking tops off. Ones that are a little soft that are going to become jam are going separate. Mary's is doing the same thing here. And... I gotta work my office quick for a bit, and then we're going to. What should we do with this squishy one? I think you better eat it. No, it's. No, we are working on all this today. Going to a lake tomorrow.